Hello everybody, Kilo was in here, and today we'll be doing What If Deku Was Spal's Metal Vessel, Part 5. So, is the final exam, everybody's writing test results are the same, and it is now the practical exam. Aizawa announced that Bakugo and Deku will be fighting All Might. So it is the start of the battle between Deku, Bakugo, and All Might. As the match begins, Deku asks Bakugo what they are going to do, fight or run. Bakugo, with a confident face, said fight. As he says this, Deku sensed something coming to them. Deku punches Bakugo, confusing him and being blown away by All Might's punch. Then Bakugo powered up to 60% of one for all and begins to charge at All Might. This is when All Might punches Bakugo in the stomach, sending him flying back. All Might prepares to finish off Bakugo first since he thinks that Bakugo is stronger than Deku. Bakugo tries to move, but he was still stunned by All Might's last attack. Then, right when All Might was about to finish off Bakugo, he heard a loud explosion. As he looked over, he sees Deku standing there in a dark purple aura. As Deku said, Full body gin equip! As his body started to change, his body begins to transform into blue scale like armor, growing a tail, taking an appearance of a dragon. All Might was surprised to see Deku transform. Then, Deku saw Bakugo looking at him, and he signaled Bakugo to run. Bakugo sees this and grudgingly started to explode it out of the way. All Might tried to stop him, but Deku stopped All Might by punching him in the stomach, sending him flying. Then Deku tried to punch All Might a second time, but All Might blocks the attack with his hands, unintentionally breaking both of his weighted bracelets without knowing. Deku counters by turning around, wrapping his tail around All Might's neck, pulling him and throwing him through a building. Then All Might jumped over to Deku's back, and as Deku looked back, All Might threw a Detroit smash at Deku, sending him flying. While Deku was flying back, he summoned his sword, stabbing it into the ground, stopping himself from flying back further. As Deku took out his sword, he was charging it and said, But a luck! Lightning started to strike down from above All Might, and All Might avoids by charging at Deku, shouting, Caronia Simash! Before the attack hit, Deku teleported away, confusing All Might. All Might looked around and saw Deku floating in the air and was charging his sword. All Might threw a Texas smash at Deku. Deku replies by throwing his charged up sword at All Might, cutting through the attack with All Might dodging the sword barely. As he looks up again, Deku is gone. Deku teleported behind All Might, grabbing his sword, and All Might turns around and sees Deku pointing his sword at him. Deku says, Badarak Saika! As he releases an enormous lightning blast at 
point blank, hitting All Might. All Might was barely able to block the attack, so it took a lot out of him, and causing him to fall down on his knees, gasping for air. Then, Deku teleported in front of All Might, and handcuffing him, passing the exam. The rest of the class was shocked to see Deku single-handedly defeated All Might, and the rest of Class 1A's result was the same as the anime. And the next arc is the movie Two Heroes, so All Might asked Deku if he wants to go to I Island with him. Deku accepts and gone to I Island with All Might. So, just the same as the movie, Deku meets Melissa, then he meets David, David being surprised to see All Might, asking Melissa to take Deku around and check in on All Might, Melissa taking Deku to I Expo, Deku being surprised to see Ochako, Momo and Jiro there, then going to a cafe, seeing Kaminari and Mineta and Ida as well. Then Deku heard an explosion, thinking it was some kind of crisis, he dashed towards it, seeing Kirishima and Bakugo in the villain attack attraction. Kirishima notices Deku and asks him to try. Then Deku takes on the villain attack attraction and scored first place with a shocking 5 seconds beating Bakugo's 15 seconds. Then they met Todoroki there as well, beating Bakugo's score with 14 seconds. Bakugo was mad and tried to yell at Todoroki, only to be stopped by Deku telling him to calm down. Then time skipped to the party, so the party was being interrupted by Wolfram and this time, Bakugo and Kirishima are with the group. So the group was walking up the stairs and on the 80th floor, there was a shutter cutting them from walking up further. D but Deku just breaks the shutter and keeps going up. Then they all heard that David was working with the villains and Wolfram shot David with a gun and knocks him out, taking him away. Then the group came out of hiding and fight with the villains. Deku charged at Wolfram, telling him that he would not escape with David, and punching him in the face, sending him flying back to a wall. Then Wolfram tried to escape, getting on a helicopter on the helipad. This is when All Might showed up, crashing the helicopter. But then, to everyone's surprise, Wolfram appears from the remains of the crashed helicopter. Using David's core amplification, Wolfram trapped David in a metal casting. All Might tries to defeat Wolfram, but Wolfram just overpowers All Might, since the entire rooftop is made of metal. But then, Deku tells All Might that he has an idea, and told him to distract Wolfram. All Might nod and charges at Wolfram. As All Might did this, Deku started to power up to full body gin equip, and summoned his sword, teleporting high above Wolfram putting his sword down, charging it, and saying to himself, Okay, Zuku, now stay calm and concentrate, as Deku's power grow even stronger. All Might sees this and jumped back, telling Deku to do what he's trying to do. Deku yells, Bararak Ikerada Saika! Releasing, an enormous blade of concentrated lightning in the form of a sword, piercing through all of Wolfram's metals and impaling him. 
then we skip to the end of the movie, later realizing that even if All Might is gone, there will be another hero ensuring peace to everyone while looking at Deku. All Might corrects him, saying not only one, but two heroes, as he looks at Bakugo and his next arc, the forest training camp. So, it's the first day of the trip, and class 1A is on the bus and going to the forest. After an hour, the bus stops and everybody came out to stretch. Then, Mandalay and Pixie Bob came out and explaining that their training starts now, with Pixie Bob creating a landslide, sending class 1A down to the beast forest. Then, Deku says that something giant is coming towards them. Suddenly, a giant beast came out of the forest. Everybody was scared, but Deku calms them down as Bakugo uses one for all, destroying it. Then, more and more monsters came out of the forest. Deku told everyone to calm down and work together. To, to defeat the monsters. So they go to the base in time since Bakugo and Deku are a lot stronger and they can easily destroy the monsters. Then the same thing in the anime happened until the next day. So it's 5 a.m. in the morning and Aizawa explaining the training camp's purpose and told Bakugo to do the pinch from the court apprehension test. Bakugo throw his pinch, getting infinite, shocking everybody, except for Deku. Then the same thing will happen, so time skip to the test of courage. A spinner and Magni came out and knocked out Pixie Bomb. Deku tells Mandalay that he knows where Kota is and that he is going to find him and bring him back here as he goes in full body gin equip and flying away. And when Kota was about to be killed, Deku came and blocked the attack and tells Kota to hide as he is about to face off with muscular. Then. Their battle begins with Muscular activating his quirk and punching Deku, with Deku summoning his sword, cutting Muscular's arm off, then using his tail to smack him into the mountain. Muscular gets back on his feet and asks if Deku knows where Bakugo is. Deku asked him why he wanted Bakugo. A muscular answers by punching Deku. Deku teleports behind him and punches him in the temple, knocking him out instantly as he does not want to waste any more time. Deku told Kota to come out and Deku flies Kota back to the base, telling Mandalay to tell everyone that the villains are going after Bakugo. Then, he puts down Kota and went and went and goes back into the forest to find Bakugo. As he is flying, he saw a dark creature fighting Shoji. Deku flies down and saves Shoji, asking him, Is that a villain? Shoji tells Deku that the dark creature is Dark Shadow. Deku quickly creates a lightning bolt, making it strike down on Dark Shadow, shocking it and knocking Dark Shadow out, telling Shoji to take him back to the base, as he flies up and saw an explosion. Knowing that Bakugo is the only one who can make an explosion that big, he flies towards it, finding Bakugo, Todoroki, and Moonfish, who is unconscious. Flying down, Deku told Bakugo, Kachan, 
we need to get back to the base before they capture you. After Deku said this, he grabbed both Bakugo and Todoroki, lifting them up and flying away. As Deku is flying back to the base, Bakugo kept yelling, Let me go, Deku! I can fly on my own! As he blasts Deku's arm, Deku started to get annoyed and shocks Bakugo, saying, If you said one more word, I'm going to knock you out. As Bakugo sees Deku's serious face and shuts up, then Nomu starts to come out of the forest. Deku, being previously annoyed by Bakugo, just rages and pointing his sword at the Nomus, shouting, Why won't you just stop bothering us? Badadak Saika! Killing the Nomus and accidentally killing Moonfish and destroying the forest behind the Nomus. Then seeing this power, the villains start to escape, thinking that they will be next. So, the villains did not capture Bakugo. After the incident, Class 1A and 1B are in the hospital. Momo still put a tracker on Anomu that escaped Deku's rage. Momo gave All Might the tracker, and this time, All Might came up to Deku and asked him if he wants to join the raid. Because All Might knows that Deku is stronger than him. And Deku said yes, and it's the night of the raid. And All Might told Deku to stay in the sidelines and wait for a signal. So, the same thing happened with All Might fighting All for One until when All for One was about to force All Might to drop out of his hero form. This is when a bolt of lightning struck down from the sky, making All for One jump back as Deku walks out of the lightning and told All Might to stay down and charge up a final attack as he is going to distract All for One. Then All for One yelled, Hey All Might, is this your successor? Deku replied, No. I am just a passing by hero. Remember that. As he goes into his full body gin equip, rushing at All for One, punching him in the stomach, catching him off guard, sending him flying back, with Deku summoning his sword, aiming it at All for One, and shouted, Badalok Saika! and shooting out an enormous amount of lightning at All for One, and All for One barely avoids the attack. But this attack still hits him, incinerating his left side. So, his left hand is completely gone, and his left side is heavily burned. With All for One flying in the air, yelling, Damn you brat! You're going to pay for this! As he thinks to himself, Damn it, this kid is even stronger than All Might. I have to use it. Then, he transforms his right arm into the All Might killing weapon and rushes at Deku, trying to punch him. Deku avoids his, Deku avoids his attack, letting him punch the ground. As Deku teleports right next to All Might and puts his hands on the ground and said, God bind as lightning vines came out of the ground, wrapping around All for One, also yelling, All Might, now! Then All Might, putting all his strength into this attack, rushes at All for One, punching him square in the face while yelling, United States of Smash! Knocking All for One out. Then he raises his arm and was about to drop out of his hero form. But this is when Deku came right next to him and touches All Might, giving him a boost with his lightning, so he can maintain his hero form for a bit longer. So it's the next day, and Aizawa and All Might are going from home to home, telling the students and their parents that UA will turn into a boarding school. 
So, it's the Provisional License Exam. And the first exam begins with Deku realizing that they are being targeted by the other schools. So, Deku told everyone to stay together, and they did. And with that, all of them passed the first exam. The second exam begins with Deku and Class 1A going in and out, saving people until Gang Orca appear and causing destruction. As Deku was helping the civilians escape, he told Bakugo to distract them, with Bakugo smiling and rushing towards them, defeating them one by one. Then he threw his explosion at Gang Orca with him punching Bakugo, and Bakugo flying back as Gain Orca was about to paralyze Bakugo, a huge amount of lightning struck down from the sky, hitting Gain Orca, making him go on one knee. Then, when Deku was about to punch him, the exam ends. And this time, everyone in class 1A passes. So this is the end of this what if. And I might continue this when season 4 of the anime ends. So, I hope you like this series, and see you in the next video. Bye.